Tensions between the United States and Iran have once again drawn international attention to the strategic importance of the Strait of Hormuz. It connects the Persian Gulf to the Gulf of Oman and the Indian Ocean. A large amount of the world's sea-transported oil is shipped through this vital choke point. Iran has played a major role in guaranteeing the security of the strait. The U.S., however, seems to be engaged in a campaign to portray Iran as a threat to the stability of this strategic area. U.S. media are quoting unnamed American officials as saying that Iran is conducting major naval exercises in the Persian Gulf. U.S. officials claim over 100 Iranian vessels, including fast boats, were involved in the drills. The U.S. military's Central Command says there has been a significant increase in Iran's naval activity in the Persian Gulf region, including in the Strait of Hormuz. That they want to uh, change the focus from Donald Trump uh, and his problems to Iran and to create problems for Iran. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any real uh, uh, information coming out of most of the major news outlets about this. It's always apparently or probably or as expected to. Western media and analysts describe the exercises as a major show of force and a preparation for a possible shutdown of the strategic strait. U.S. officials later said, however, that the exercises did not appear to be affecting commercial shipping. In my view, there are several reasons for this. Uh, one, of course, is that China recently announced that it would not abide by U.S. sanctions and would continue to import as much Iranian oil as it wanted. And secondly, Donald Trump, uh, presumably to uh, uh, provide cover or distraction for the Mueller probe about his relations with Russia and whether Russia interfered in U.S. elections, um, as well as his other problems uh, that he's having in, in public. U.S. President Donald Trump scrapped the landmark nuclear deal with Iran in May. He now says he is mounting economic pressure there on the Iranians in a bid to bring them back to the negotiating table. America's efforts to block Iran's oil sales are in line with that policy. The U.S. President says he wants a more comprehensive deal with Iran. Trump's policies have failed to force the Iranians into submission. Trump's pressure tactics are instead pushing the volatile Middle East region to the brink of another war. Given its hostile measures, observers believe the U.S. bears full responsibility for any military confrontation with Iran and further destabilization of the region.